I, a lot of the, a lot of the common things that people call me up for is is um, jumping on guests, stealing food off the counters, chewing personal items, chewing furniture, um, excessive barking. Um, uh, then we start getting into some more stressful behaviors like leash reactivity or pulling on a leash and dragging someone down the, down the street. Um, the howling at night, uh, potty issue. A dog that is indiscriminately uh, deciding when it wants to come back as opposed to getting the come when called. Um, we, we certainly want that. Um, and then of course, uh, fighting with other dogs, nipping, biting. Um, those those tend to be the big, 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 big problems. Um, when I get calls, I, we usually want to find out what the, the, the nails on the chalkboard moment is that caused you to pick up the phone. It's the one behavior that really drives you crazy. Um, and a lot of people just want to address that one issue. But the Canine Clarity Program, it covers a lot of different areas because that one behavior is a is 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 a direct reflection of instability in other areas. And so if we address those other buckets, so to speak, of other behaviors such as in-home manners, uh, on-leash manners, off-leash manners, what we'll find is that one sort of 911 behavior that the, that the client called in, it kind of goes, it just goes away. Because what the dog is really looking for is other things. That behavior is a direct uh, manifestation of stress, anxiety, of something else. And so we have to address those other areas. If you do that, you typically find that, that that one behavior that you called on, the 911 call, tends to go away. Um, and it's not even a, a big of an issue as you think it might be.